Hey everybody, welcome back to RC World, and today is a, another beautiful day out here. And I just have a really quick video for you guys on how to safely store your batteries for the winter time and charge them to the appropriate charge, and overall, just how to safety, safely store and charge it. And the necessary precautions to take when doing so. Alright guys, let's get started. To start off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about LiPos first and NIMH batteries and nickel cadmium batteries last. So first we're going to talk about LiPos. This here is a Hex 5 3500 LiPo 7.4 volt 15C. This is also the charger that correlates with this type of battery and most other LiPos, 2S, 3S's, and 4S LiPos. What's happening right now is I'm going to talk about how to safely storage charge your LiPo battery for, for storaging, like you're not gonna use the battery for like a week or more at a time. I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. So as you can see here, so what we're gonna do is to normally for a 3500mH battery, what I would typically do is charge it up to 2000mH and then we have a 1,500 more to go. That's basically around storage charge. Storage mode means is that you don't have your full your battery fully charged. It's either at 50% or 60% or at least 75 and no higher above. If you have your battery at 100% fully charged, that means you're gonna use the battery at least within the day, at least within that 24 hour time period. If you're gonna storage charge it, you're storing a little bit of charge in it, so 50% all the way to 75% so that you can use it on a later date. The reason is having a fully charged LiPo is dangerous and also having a completely discharged LiPo is dangerous to your LiPo because if it tends to discharge even more past 3.7 or 3.3 volts, I think it's below 3.7, it will not charge anymore and I've had that problem with this charger. The charger would not charge it if it went past or below 3.7 volts. And basically, if it goes past that, your LiPo is dead and you killed it. Or it just died and it's dead forever and you'll have to purchase a new one. So, storage mode is the best option because when it discharges, it discharges slowly and also it's not gonna, it won't drain real fast because it's already at 75%, let's say. And also it's not at full mode because LiPos tend to just spontaneously uh, erode inside and it could cause an explosion. They're just overall dangerous, things happen environmental pressures change in the atmosphere. It can change pressures that the battery doesn't like and at fully charged, it could affect that. And it, and at a storage charge mode, it, a pressure difference might not change anything. So I already charged this battery to storage mode, but I'm gonna show you guys how I do this anyway. So first with the light boat, it's a 2S. I'm gonna set, I almost forgot to set it. For my hex slide charger, this battery is a three point. So this battery is a three five hundred. The charger goes all the way up to three point zero. We're now at three point zero. Okay, so now we're charging. If you can see that's at 8.3 volts and this is charged all the way up to 2500 I believe and so what I'm gonna do is I don't know if your type of charger has this I'm gonna press menu and you see how it's going up right there these are both cells because this is to us remember they're both going up and the battery is rated at 3500 mAh and what you do is you wait till that gets all the way up till 2000 or 100 or 1000. So let's say you had a 5200 mh battery, you charged it up to at least 300 or uh, I'm sorry, 5200 mh battery, you charged it up to at least 3500 or 4000 at the most. That's basically around 
or if you have a battery or if you have a battery percentage tester and voltage tester that goes on that goes on the thing right here whoops i bumped the battery it thinks it's full i think yep it thinks it's full it's actually not a bump so you would so it would go on the end of that right there all right and that's basically that i mean that's basically how to uh storage charge a lipo battery most of you guys probably already know this so it, but now if you guys are wondering how to charge a an ih battery let's get let's get right to that so I don't have the charger with me, but the charger that you will most likely get for these Hexfly 2000s NIH type batteries is you get a little charger that goes on right on the end of this, and it'll just be a little block with a light on it that goes on the wall. So what you're going to do is, let's say that this battery charge, which charges and fully charges within three hours on that charger. What you do is, instead, and make sure this battery is not fully drained, but to where, to, but to where the car says, nope, we're not going to drive anymore. And the, the, uh, your car cuts it off or your car gets to gets really slow most likely to where you can barely drive anymore or it, it's, yeah you're gonna take those three hours and you of course you divide by two and you get the half but you get some zero point whatever number charge it up to full two hours and then unplug it and then store it away that is basically all you need to do and i believe that there is probably testers that go on the end of the end of these if there's not then i that's basically all I know how to know how to do and if there is a special charger that goes for these hex these uh NOH batteries I know there is and it kind of looks like this uh I know there is I've seen them before there's probably a little wave bar that goes across that goes all the way up to full between that so half of that of course would work that's pretty much it guys I have on these uh lipos and NIH batteries also nickel cadmium batteries are basically the same thing you'll charge it halfway or if you just want to leave it at, I, sometimes I leave my nickel cadmium batteries at full sometimes because they're less dangerous and uh, nickel cadmium batteries are kind of stupid sometimes. So it, it they, I uh, can fully trust them. Uh, I would still charge those at uh, 75% and then cut them off. So, uh, all right guys, that's all I have for you guys today. Uh, please like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.